Today we're going to be introducing you to the Vantage 14 from Clark. The Vantage 14 is a micro scrubber. It has three gallons of capacity, that's three gallons of solution, and three gallons of recovery. Micro scrubbers have become more and more popular today as we move into more confined spaces. What this machine does is give us the ability to get rid of the mops and give us a cleaning machine that will pick up dirty solution in really tight, confined areas. Let me show you some of the nice features that this machine has. The first thing I want to show you is the solution tank. The solution tank is in the front of the machine. You have the ability to pour directly into it, close the lid, and seal it up. Again, it holds three gallons. Directly behind the solution tank is the recovery tank. Now how the solution flows is we've got a gravity-fed system that dispenses the solution right in between the actual brush itself. Now this brush, again, is 14 inches. The machine comes standard with the brush. This can be used on almost every surface we have out there today. The brush is very easy to remove. If it needs to be cleaned out, obviously it's very easy to put in. As we're scrubbing the floor, the brush is actually spinning and emulsifying and helping to scrub the soils. Then we have a squeegee system directly behind the machine. This squeegee system is unlike anything out in the market today. What makes it so different than the competitor's machine is, is that we have the ability as we make turns for the squeegee to literally follow the head. A little bit later I'm going to show you how you use that up against the wall. Conventional scrubbers today, you can't scrub up against the wall, but with the Vantage 14 you can, which I will illustrate. Let's get back to the water flow. After we've actually scrubbed the floor, it's being picked up by the squeegee, then it's being transferred into the recovery tank. The recovery tank, again, is located just behind the solution tank. The other nice feature to the Vantage 14 is these two tanks are really as one. Literally all we have to do to empty the machine is lift this handle and carry it to a sop sink. Since I have this open, let me show you some of the other nice features. As you can see, everything is exposed. We literally have the ability, if we're servicing the machine, to get to any of the components very easily. You also notice these two knobs. What these do is they adjust the actual pitch of the head itself. So if it has a tendency to pull to the left and to the right, then we have the ability to adjust it either left and or right. Of course, this machine is battery operated. Let me show you the 12 volt battery located in the back. It comes standard with an AGM battery. The nice thing about that is that it is completely maintenance free. It also has an onboard charger, so you never have to worry about running around the building trying to find a charger to charge the machine. All you have to do is unwrap this cord, plug it into any wall. As you notice here, we have a quick release battery. What does that mean? What it means is, is that we'll have the ability to take the battery out and then we will have the ability to transport this machine, one person, you could put it in a trunk of a car, you could carry it upstairs, it makes it extremely light. We have a built-in handle here in the back, built-in handle in the front. Let's talk about the controls of the machine. As you notice right now, it's in the off position. As I take it to the first mode, the first mode is going to be the mode that I will use the most. This mode is our scrub mode. What it's going to do is, when it's engaged, it will activate the brush, the water flow, as well as the vacuum and squeegee. Nothing will happen until this red safety switch is pressed, and then you have your two releases on the handle that you need to engage. The second mode of operation is brush and water only. This is if you're in an entryway or if you're in a, a back in an uh, actual kitchen or someplace that actually has a lot of debris down, a lot of, lot of soils, and you need to really give it a good scrub. Uh, you'll be able to go in and scrub with the water and the brush and not pick it up and give it more dwell time. And then the third, of course, is just the brush in the vacuum. This would be used if there was an abundance of water on the floor and you needed to pick it up. It's also very nice to use maybe at the end of a run to pick up whatever residual water that will be left in the brush itself. Now, 
Storage, storage for this machine. We talked about it being a micro scrubber. Another nice feature to this is, is that we have the ability to store it in a closet. It will take up no more room than the mop buckets you have in there today. The way we do that is our handle is height adjusted. It also folds all the way to the front of the machine and then we just lift up and set the unit on its side. Okay, now I'm going to show you what I think is the most incredible feature that this machine possesses. I mentioned earlier about the squeegee being able to literally track around when the machine is being turned. Now I'm going to show you how it works right up against the wall. Tilt it back. 